Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, May 7th, um, 7.37 in the morning. Been up for a couple of hours here. Going to have be heading off in a little while to uh, spend another day with Brett McKenzie and company uh, working on his new album. We had a great day yesterday, got two tracks done, and uh, he's just a He's just quite a unique individual. For those that aren't familiar, um, there's a group in New Zealand called the Flight of the Concords, and he is half of that group. And uh, their music and comedy and all kinds of stuff, but really, really talented. I've done um, Muppet movies with him. He's done the music for them and then did a, a solo album. And we're uh, uh, embarking on another solo album. So <clears throat> in theory, we'll be in... Um, all week, um, straight through the weekend, working on that. Um, I'm to look out at 7.30 in the morning, and the sprinkler guys are already out there you know, laying pipe, um, putting in all the pipe now and all the sprinkler heads and getting it all going. But they've, they said it would be a few more days for sure. So ongoing project. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so I was thinking I'm going to get some music in before I leave for work here. You know, one of the artists I had the pleasure of working with many years ago, um, back in Nashville, um, yeah, on, uh, one of his early projects, and he's a really gifted, talented cat, is an artist named Skip Ewing. Um, so I pulled up a little stuff over here, um, to, uh, give a little information uh, about Skip. It says, uh, Ewing was born in Redlands, California. Um, his, he first began uh, to gain national attention during the mid-1980s, both as a songwriter and a recording artist for MCA and Capitol Records. His 1988 debut album, The Coast of Colorado, produced a number three hit, Burning a Hole in My Heart, and four other top 20 country hits. Um, the Will to Love included the top five hit um, it's You Again. Although none of Ewing's subsequent uh, chart entries made the top 40, he released eight more albums from 1990 to 2009. Ewing is notable attendee of Columbia High School in Jefferson County, Colorado, and Redlands High School. Um, oh, it was Columbine. Wow. So he went to Columbine High School. Jesus, that's where the incredibly terrible shooting was. Um, and Redlands High School in Redlands, California. In 1990, uh, Ewing wrote two songs for Kenny Rogers' uh, album, Love is Strange, Listen to the Rain and If I Were a Painting. In 2008, he served as a duet partner of the radio version of Reba McIntyre's single, Every Other Weekend. He also co-wrote the single. The song reached top 20 on Billboard's country charts. All of the song was credited for one week to Ewing and Kenny Chesney as Every Other Weekend by Reba McIntyre and Skip Ewing or Kenny Chesney. The, the song was thereafter credited to McIntyre alone on the charts. Um, he's won broadcast uh, the BMI Songwriter of the Year uh, Award in 2000, the Nashville Songwriter Association International Song of the Year, Country Music, CMA, Triple uh, Play Award, three number one songs within 12 months. Additionally, Ewing has received a CMA Song of the Year nomination Grammy nomination, a Tony nomination, and multiple BM, BMI Millionaire Awards. Um, let me see what we got there. Oh, this is pretty cool. House and Writer is an annual songwriting retreat Skip Ewing organizes every year with members of the Nashville songwriting community. The retreat lasts six days and takes place at the Triangle Sea Ranch in Dubois, Wyoming. The mission is to help aspiring songwriters realize their potential as they are mentored by experienced pros like Ewing, who describe the event as a labor of love. So that's really cool. Um, but I thought I would go ahead and play a few songs from Skip's album. Now, the album was produced uh, by Jimmy Bowen. Um, the album is actually called The Will to Love from 1989. It was produced by um, Jimmy Bowen, got my copious notes here. Um, and Skip, it was engineered by Ron Treat, and second engineering was done by Julian King, Marty Williams, and Tim Kish. It was mixed by Tom Perry and mastered by Glenn Meadows. Um, 
The band on this uh, on the album is myself on bass, Rick Morata on drums, Billy Joe Walker Jr. on guitar, John Catchings on cello, uh, Jerry Douglas on dobro, Reggie Young on guitar, Hoot Hester on mandolin, Michael Fisher on percussion, Matt Rawlings on keyboards, um, Mike Lawler and Steve Nathan on synth, and Skip singing lead and all the background vocals and playing guitar. So um, first song I'm going to play is called um, She's Making Plans. And this was um, written by Skip Ewing. So here we go. comments on this uh, video and uh, boy just all these people talking about you know having children whoops oh, 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 no, 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 don't do that don't do that yet I'm not ready okay it's gonna go it wants to go so here's a song called the door and this was written by Skip Ewing and Red Lane there we go One by one 
we opened up the curtains, let love in and made it feel at home. But there's one last room at the end of the hallway. She's never opened up to me before. Every now and then I pause there for a moment and cast a painful shadow on the door. And sometimes late at night she wakes me when she trembles and I count her fading footsteps on the floor. And before I leave the bedroom walk down that old hallway at home I'll see her light under the door How anyone could hurt someone like her I'll never understand sure touch some emotions that's for sure uh here's another one uh that was written by don sampson and skip ewing called karen let's see what hold on. I 
gotta know Oh, Karen Honey, I ain't there been so well Oh, you now I'm young and I'm certain I'm hurting for you It's all I do, oh, Karen I should be sharing this love with you Oh, Karen Yeah I ain't there been so well But it's true now I'm young and I'm certain I'm hurting for you It's all I do, oh, Karen I should be sharing this love with you Oh, Karen Honey, I ain't there in so well Oh, it's true now I'm young and I'm certain I'm hurting for you, baby It's all I do, oh, Karen I should be sharing this love with you Well, back in the time when being Karen wasn't defining you as a psychotic, lunatic woman screaming at people and stuff. I feel bad for everybody named Karen when, for some reason, I don't know quite how this all happened, but every time you see somebody in a store going off and screaming and throwing things and, you know, standing at people's car windows, yelling at them and stuff, and they're called now a Karen. Um, yeah, I know a lot of Karens they are great people. So, so, so that was when Skip, that was pre-Karen, this, that Karen. Okay. Um, one more, uh, The Will to Love. And um, this was written uh, by Don Sampson. So here we go. I'll make this kind of just a quick little visit today here. Um, I loved Jimmy Bowen was really the reason I went to Nashville uh, in the first place. Uh, he really got me there on a consistent level because I did so much of his work when he lived in Los Angeles. And then when he moved to uh, Nashville, take over Capitol Records down there. And he called me, he said, would you like to come to Nashville and work? And I said, sure, I'd love to. And that's how I got to know all the great players, Reggie Young and Billy Walker and and Eddie Bayers and, and just all the guys. It's such a fabulous uh, team of, of musicians uh, in, in Nashville. And uh, so I was privileged to be down there doing like all the early Reba and Vince Gill and Patti Loveless and Susie Boggess and Lionel Cartwright and Skip Ewing and just on and on. Uh, Lacey Dalton, um, just... So many of them, and I thank Jimmy Bowen for that. Jimmy really opened an incredible door for me, and we've been friends forever. So here's one last one, The Will to Love. Here we go. And this is the title track to the album, The Will to Love. Oh, 
leaving You just went against my heart You hurt me in anger God knows I made you cry Though it brushed away the ashes So the flames there wouldn't die And we never lost the will to love Oh, but we've been on the edge When things were rough You were tried and I was tempted But we never did give up Cause we never lost the will Such great players, God, you know, listening to Hoot Hester playing mandolin there and Matt Rawlings just burning it up on piano. Just great, great, great players. It was always such a treat to, to do a project down there and show up in the studio and see which guys were going to be there. Um, uh, Jerry McPherson, God, there were so many. The thing that was always a little bit strange to me um, because after I started doing a lot of country records, then all of a sudden I started getting calls because I had worked with him before from uh, people like Brown Bannister to do contemporary Christian albums. And it was always interesting to me that here you are in this one town, yet the players that worked on country and then the Christian stuff were usually very different players, even though the music was, you know, in a way similar. It's just different camps, so it was always kind of weird. I was like always crossing over the tracks from one side to the other, and uh, really enjoyed it because there were there were so many great players on both sides. But just for some reason, it didn't cr cross pollinate that much when at least when I first started going there. So, um, so I'm gonna, I'm going to get the dogs breakfast ready, take them for a nice walk because they still can't go in the backyard because it's completely torn up for all the sprinkler work going on. It'd be far too dangerous for them. They're not like a big dog that could just jump over these trenches. They might fall into one and that would be disastrous. So um, I'm going to take them out for a nice walk and run a couple of errands and then head off to the studio. We have a noon downbeat today and I can't wait. I'll try to maybe uh, do some filming. Uh, uh, there. I mean, the hard part is like when you do the stuff, it's got to be everything but the music because this is new music and you don't want to be um, doing anything with that before it's finished. And and it's all, you have permission to do that. But I'll, I'll, I'll see what's going on at the studio. Um, so I would just wish everybody a wonderful weekend. Um, have a great day today and tomorrow. I'll be, I'll be back tomorrow. Give Give thoughts to the uh, the poor innocent people of uh, Ukraine. They said I was listening to the news a little while ago, and they said they're trying desperately to get the civilians out of that steel plant in Ukraine that the Russians have just been bombing and bombing and bombing. And there's these people that just hunker down in tunnels underneath the steel plant trying to stay alive. But it's just relentless. It's just the one of the most monstrous campaigns and acts uh, in this century and for a long and, and in the past century. I mean, this, this has gone into such a dark, grotesque, ugly place. And uh, there's really one person to blame for it, and that's Putin. It's all, all his call. And he, you know, but again, you know, guys like that, they're surrounded by, you know, people that are going to say yes to anything that they, they do um, because the alternative is... <laughs> you might be terminated. So my thoughts are with them. My thoughts are with all the people still working in the hospitals. There's still lots of deaths taking place. We've now in America passed a million deaths from COVID and there's still people hospitalized and still workers working every day through the week, seven days a week, 24 seven, trying to save people's lives. And especially a lot of people who should not be in the hospital had they done the right thing for themselves. 
Uh, so give thoughts out to all these people that are really going through so much uh, where we're sort of cruising along with our normal daily life. Uh, they're living extraordinary existences. So my thoughts are with them. So I'm going to get going, upload this, and uh, lots to do today. So take care. Bye-bye.